How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Pokemon X Wedlock. Last time, I explored Terminus Cave just because I felt like it was necessary, and I don't know, hopefully I found everyone. I heard that there was apparently someone I missed. I think it was good enough. You know what? We got plenty done. Anyway, but yeah, it is time to take on the gym now, and oh my goodness, I love that scarf top. That thing looks really good. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. I shouldn't be spending all my money on clothes, but oh, it's just all so good. And this blue cycling cap and the pin, oh man. It's not actually that expensive in the big picture of things. I at least have that purse. I know, priorities, right? Um, yeah, well, you know what? This outfit certainly works for now. Not really complaining about it. I'm just always on the lookout for new stuff. Okay, so I've got to take on the gym. And it's a pretty tough gym. The gym leader himself can be either a really tough challenge or a total pushover. He's definitely right when he says that. If your team is not well equipped with things that counter both on the physical and special end of the ice type weakness spectrum, he can definitely be tough. And in a wedlock, you're less likely to have Pokemon that can handle that. In a Nuzlocke, he's not too bad, but yeah. Thankfully, I do feel rather confident about how I'll handle him. The only downside is how I'm gonna take on the rest of the gym because I know that there are some tough trainers inside. In particular, I know that there's someone in there with a Mamoswine and that is not good news for either Valerian or Nightshade because yeah, that will spell certain death for them. Although I think uh, Valerian might have Sturdy if I recall, yeah. So that is at least a reassurance that, you know, she will survive even a worst case scenario thing, which I keep forgetting about. I keep forgetting about it. Um, but yeah, I want to get everyone trained up to level 56 or 57 before proceeding. I'm going to need to train anyway before taking on Victory Road, so I might as well get people closer to uh, 57 just so I'll be better prepared. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get to training. I don't know how long it's going to take. Definitely takes a while. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it won't take too long. I'll try out some of the new areas. But most importantly, I just want to find somewhere that's, you know, kind of comfortable where I won't have to worry about dying. That's why oftentimes I pick lower experience areas. It's just like, I don't have to worry about not running away, something hitting me, and dying in a crit. Just in case you were wondering. Anyway, I'm gonna get to it. I'll see you when I'm done.
right, I am finally done training. That took almost two hours and it wasn't all that fun. But you know what, it's fine. We got everyone up to level 57. So that's good. That'll definitely help in the long run. So I, uh, I did a little bit of adjusting of their movesets. I did decide to get rid of, uh, <laughs> what is it? I got rid of cut because I don't need that anymore. But I also got rid of poison jab because we really don't need it for this gym. I think having power up punch as an option might be nice. Um, I also got rid of psychic. I didn't really want to do it, but you know what? We'll be getting the TM for it before long anyway, and yeah, Slow King and Slow Bro for that matter, and I guess Slow Poke as well, can learn Flamethrower. Go figure, I don't understand it either, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Um, yeah, Basil was left alone. Uh, Valerian did learn Heavy Slam while training, so I guess I'll go ahead and have both that and Iron Head. I know it's a little, a little redundant. I could get rid of one of them. I think I'd rather have Iron Head, but Aggron's fairly heavy. However, it's not quite as heavy as you think. Um, I was gonna give Sage something, but honestly, I think Surf will just be the best against whatever, even over a super effective move. Because all the super effective moves were uh, physical based and Sage does not have as good a physical attack. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna just hopefully rely on Nightshade and on Valerian for this gym with a little bit of Rue on the side. So I'm really afraid of the uh, this Mammoth Swine in here. I don't remember where it is, but I remember there being a very nasty Mammoth Swine and it causing a lot of grief. So hopefully I will be able to, uh, to come out of this with uh, everyone alive, because I don't know what I'm gonna do against the gym if someone dies. Well, hopefully all these steel types will uh, will steal the deal. Anyway, let's start the fight. I wish I could remember what all these trainers used. They call me the queen of the ice rink. Imelda. Sneasel. All right, well, that's so far so good. Something I should easily be able to handle. Um, actually, this is something that I want to power up punch. Like, right now, because it is very, very weak to fighting. And even this will be enough to knock it out. And I'll get a little bonus. Yeah, that's why I put power up punch on there. I figure, you know what? I could use that to uh, hopefully seal the deal. Oh, Cloister, huh? See, that's kind of interesting. That's why I didn't go solely with uh, metal type attacks. I wanted to have some fighting type moves as well. Uh, just because they'll do a little bit better against any water ice Pokemon. So we're going to go with Brick Break. And that's actually pretty darn good against the Cloister. These things have a monstrous amount of defense. So I will certainly take a two hit KO off of a non-stab Brick Break. Yeah, that's pretty nice, even after the boost. Those things tend to be walls. Oh man, all right, well, so far, so good. That's pretty nice. Now I have to press these buttons. Oh man, I hate this gym because even though it looks pretty, it can be very confusing. At least I find it confusing sometimes to figure out how on earth to get past it. Well, let's give Valerian a chance. I guess I'll just swap back and forth between these two. Sage and Cardamom, probably not gonna be used. Freeze right there! Victor. Delibird. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we needed some comic relief. Um, yeah, that's not a problem at all. I know that these trainers are just trying to lower my guard a little bit, but that's okay. Um, present. Doesn't affect the... Oh, it was one of those healing presents at that! Wow, least threatening Delibird ever! Okay, well, we clipped that thing's... Oh, it's the Mammoth Swine! Oh, snap! Um... Well... Oh, man! I really wish I had Rue for this, to be honest. Um, oh man, um, there are so many ways this could go wrong, but I do have Sturdy, so I have to remember that. I am fully, uh, fully set. Maybe, just maybe, 
Um. Oh, that thing's really heavy. I don't think Heavy Slam's gonna do more than Iron Head against it. Um. Well, let's just try to steamroll it with Iron Head. Earthquake. Yep, there it goes. Hang in there, Valerian. That is so scary, but I really hope that Iron Head will do the job. Because otherwise, I am out of luck! Ah! What now? That's not good! It needed to do a lot more than that! I have to switch out, like, right now. I really hope the Valerian can handle an earthquake. I tell you, if I just get this Mammoth Swine out of the way, I won't have to worry about things anymore. Come on, Basil! Hang in there! All right, we just need you to do a little bit of damage and outspeed this thing. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, that was scary. Woo! Um, yeah, that's, uh... That is why I was so afraid of this gym, but at least this tag team worked. Sturdy was very nice. I'm gonna go heal and change my pants. I'll be right back. Uh, whoops, this is gonna be fun. Well, let me get out of this... Wait, will that... No, darn it. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be real here. This gym is a nightmare if you want to leave. Because you have to wait for these stupid animations before you can even do anything. It's like, come on. Um, yeah. Well, now that the Mammoth Swine is out of the way, I do feel better about that. So that's a good thing. Um... Come on, do I really have to do this? Oh, jeez, I hate this gym with a burning passion, okay? It just drives me crazy! It drives me crazy! Um, will this work? I think this will probably work, maybe, although I think I need to have the middle one. Shoot. Um, you know what? At least I don't have to worry about Mammoth Swine. Honestly, that is like the number one thing that I was worried about. I feel so much better knowing that that thing is no longer in existence. It's gone. Um, now if I can just get this whole gym out of existence, I'll be set. It's not like it's that tough of a gym or puzzle, rather. It's just really monotonous and slow. Like, you have to wait so long before anything will work. I think this is what I want. No, maybe not. Darn it, because I need to be able to get out of here. All right, we're going to have to do it this way. I hate this gym, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that again because it's been a little bit. Uh, this is fine. This, wait, is this fine? This isn't fine, I don't think. Let's try it again. We need a center one. I know that's a uh, part of the key to this. Ah, oh, and it takes so long! Come on! There! All right, finally one in the center there. That only took such a long time. And now, wait, this isn't gonna work either. You gotta be kidding me. Now how do I get out of here? I see what I need to do. So see, now I have to reset this whole thing. Um, actually, no, that won't even work, will it? Because I, I won't be able to leave. Oh, my goodness. I honestly think this might be my least favorite gym ever. Oh, my goodness. Okay, finally, I'm past that area. That took such a long time. Um, all right. Well, I guess we'll have Nightshade and Rue handle this fight. I don't know what's up next, but probably a Jinx somewhere along the line. Oh, you're gonna give me a taste of dessert, huh? Well, great. Uh, Shannon. Oh, Cryogonal! This is gonna be fun. Yeah, it has a ton of special defense, but basically no physical defense. So we're just gonna get hit with Confuse Ray, darn it! Man, that's bad news. I don't wanna be confused. Oh, well, you know what? Nightshade doesn't either. Yeah, she'll just crush that snowflake. Hmm, but I have to watch out for that. Jinx. There's the Jinx. You know what? Let's get out of here. We're gonna send out Rue. 
Because I don't want to be confused. Actually, Rue can probably handle Jinx. Because, I mean, he is resistant to Psychic and Ice. So I don't really know what this thing could even do to Rue. Uh, let's go ahead and Flamethrower. Ring out. Okay. Was not expecting that. But yeah, two flamethrowers will do the trick. Oh. Are you speed tied? Or was Jinx doing a low priority move? That's so weird. You shouldn't be able to outspeed Jinx, but I'm trying to think what move it would have had. I can't think. Oh, a pile of swine! Um, actually, this is just fine. We'll have Rue handle this. It's a little mini Mammoth Swine, but nowhere near as threatening. Earthquake. I mean, this could hurt still. Rue does not have a lot of defense. But I think Rue will be able to handle it. There we go. Oh, and a crit, just for uh, good measure, Mr. Crit. I mean, that's all you do is just critical hit everything. It's crazy. Okay, well... Defeated her, I'm gonna heal up with a little bit of Moo Moo Milk. Because I don't want to have to go through this puzzle again. I wanted to save some of it. Like, I didn't use it earlier. But, eh, you know. And I know he has two hit points left. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll actually continue to use Nightshade. Because I feel like we didn't use Nightshade very much there. So, I think I'm gonna need to run over and fight this trainer right this moment. Okay, Theo. Oh, it's a bear tick. Oh, this thing might have a physical fighting move. Uh, I don't know what. I honestly don't. I'm kind of afraid right now. I'm very afraid. I'm actually quite afraid. I, You know what? My gut is telling me to get out of here. So I'd better scoot, because this bear could tear me to shreds if I'm not careful. Okay, it's just got Icicle Crash. I guess that's not anything to worry about. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I was quite worried, though, that it had something nasty. Um, but I don't think it will. Let's just flamethrower that thing. Hail! No! We don't need it to hail! We need it to burn! Yeah, there we go! That's what I'm talking about! Burn, baby, burn! Um, you know what? There's very little this bear is gonna be able to do, so I think I'm gonna take a moment to set up. So let's, uh, nasty plot slack off. Cause this thing- Oh. Well, you know what? That's how you wanna play? I mean, I'm gonna be playing similar there, pal. Yeah, go ahead and do that, because I'm just going to get nasty. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. So that actually works out probably even better. Because I was just thinking I'd slack off whatever damage you did, but honestly, this isn't too bad. Um, I'm not even going to bother. I have leftovers. This is enough. I think this actually should knock it out. Really? Really? Ah, oh, that stinks. Darn you, Snow Cloak! Alright, burn! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it! Who would have thought that, you know, a Slow King would just be burning the place up? That's just crazy. Ah, uh, the Nilux, huh? Well, that thing has very little diversity in moves and such, so I think I'm just gonna melt this ice cream. Oh, you're gonna ice beam me, huh? Isn't that cute? Here, let me show you how it's done. Get some melted ice cream. It's kind of funny how I think Rue's probably been the most effective Pokemon against the gym. Oh, your blood's boiling now. Is that a joke? Because I use flamethrower? Ah, <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna run back and heal once again, uh, because I- No! No! Oh, no! Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna do that now just because. I'll get back to that point, and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back to this general area. Can someone do a Google search for me and just tell me why Snowbell City is so bad? Like, just 
Why is Snowbell City's gym so bad? I just don't know, guys. It's terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure if you just look it up and you're just following a guide or something, it's like, hey, no big deal. Like, seriously, but I'm not. I'm doing it either from memory or just playing around. It's been so long since I've done this that I honestly don't know. I honestly don't care. I just want to get through it. But at least there's no more trainers to fight other than the gym leaders, so I do feel good about that. Yeah, this looks like what I want. Okay, it should just be arranging this green piece here. There we go, finally. See, that section wasn't so bad. All right, so I guess I'd better prepare. Um, Nightshade and Rue are probably going to be my best bet, I think? Um, I know this guy leads with a Obama Snow, at least I think so. And then he's got Cryogonal, and he has, um, the Avalug, of course. So I'm gonna need something physical, something special, and then just gonna have to take care of him. I think Nightshade actually can probably handle all three, but I think actually Rue would be better against uh, Avalug, just because it has a lot higher physical defense. Although it might have Crunch and thinking about it. Oh, that could be bad. Um, but I still think Nightshade will be a very solid choice for a lead. So we're just gonna go ahead with this pair. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of logic behind it. I think we'll do all right. Anyway, let's see if it'll be a total pushover or his, or my easiest trainer yet. Um, well, actually, that's, that's hardly a decision. Let's see if he'll be the toughest trainer yet or a total pushover. Whatever he says. You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means. Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's all right. That's how it should be. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's get this show on the road. Smack that belly! Here we are! The eighth and final gym leader in the game, Leader Wolfric! And he's got his Obama Snow. Yes, I remember this team all too well. Um, but you know what? I think we'll be okay for handling this thing. The only downside is, yeah, it sets up Snow Warning. That's Snow Joke. Um, but we'll be all right. So I'm gonna go with Iron Head here and hope that'll be enough for a one hit KO. I don't think it will, but yeah, so close. Well, it's only going for Ice Beam, which I guess could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, that's that's just fine. So what we're gonna actually do right now, he's gonna heal, I know it. So I'm gonna go for the Power Up Punch. And even if he didn't heal, it's like, why wouldn't I go for Power Up Punch right now? The only downside is I will end up taking extra hail damage, which isn't very cool. Uh, no pun intended. All right, let's, actually I should have power up punched again. What's the matter with me? I know that last one was a crit, but I think it would have done enough to knock it out regardless. Well, you know what? Probably better not to chance it. I think this will work out. I'm gonna need to switch for Avalug anyway. Um, it's Cryogonal. That's no problem at all. At least it shouldn't be. I don't want to get too cocky here, because that'd be bad. Um, what's Iron Head? Confuse Ray, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Nightshade, come on, be awesome. We all know you're awesome. Yeah, there we go. No doubts there. Okay, oh man. Now the tough thing. I'm only at half health here. And Avalug could start with like curse and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do enough damage with Iron Head. Because it does have a lot of defense, but I don't really want to get rid of this boost. Um, mm, man, this is tough. Flamethrower would probably be a 2-hit KO. But I'll lose this boost entirely. Well, you know what? We're going to go for it. I don't want to risk Nightshade here. You're only at half health. And I think Rue should be able to handle whatever this thing is going to throw at it. All right throw at him. I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna go with Flamethrower. 
Now, if we can get the burn, that would be just great. I'm not counting on it, but wow, didn't even need it. Yeah, it's going for curse. That is fine by me. And the hail stopped. That is wonderful. Okay, you can hyper potion all day right now. Rue does not even care. He's probably gonna get a crit just to, just to throw it in your face. Just watch him. Oh, so close. Good job, Rue. <laughs> oh, melt that coffee table. It does look like a coffee table, doesn't it? Like an icy coffee table. And wants to learn Heal Pulse. Why would you do this? No, it's fine. We don't need you to do that, pal. Outstanding! I'm as tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Yes, I did. Uh, through and through. You were a total pushover. You aren't kidding. Impressive! Your Pokémon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained your Pokémon well. Aw, yeah, I've got the Iceberg Badge! What you have right there is called the Iceberg Badge. As long as you have that, any and all your Pokémon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this, too. Sweet! Ice cream! You know what this is? It's Ice Beam! This move has an accuracy of 100%! Is that really, like, the main thing you're talking about with Ice Beam? Like... You know, really, you could say it's a powerful move. It's like, oh, I'm gonna tell you about this move. It has 100% accuracy. You know what else has 100% accuracy? Tackle! At least in Gen 5 onward. Not only that, but every once in a while, it will freeze the target it hits, too. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it will also render you fragile. You're better off being flexible. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna walk away from here. Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environment without changing what's important on the inside. Not me, though. I guess I'm stubborn. Maybe that's why I like ice- or love ice types. Yeah, maybe. And you like really evil gyms. That are just boring and monotonous. Okay, at least I never have to worry about the gym again! I'm out of here! Woo! Peace out, losers! April is here! April is gone. I'm done. I said I'm done. What part of that don't you understand? Oh, there's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. You know what? You have all the gym badges now, so there's really only one thing left to do. It's time you headed off to the Pokemon League. Yeah, that guy just said that. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Uh-huh. Right. Well, you know what? I do still have a challenge ahead of me, and it is over on Route 21. Oh, man! I have to go through that. But at least the level limit is pretty much super generous now. And also, just keep in mind the level limit now. That is the limit for before I enter the Elite Four battles, okay? After I take on the Elite Four, like once that whole thing starts, once I'm at the point of no return there, the level limit no longer applies. That's why it's a little bit lower than the champion's highest level Pokemon, because I figure I'll gain experience in there. And there's no PC or anything, so it's not like I could release or deposit anything that goes over levels. Um, that's what I do in all of my Nuzlocke's with a level limit. I always make sure that the limit is before taking on the Elite Four. And then it's disregarded afterwards, just to keep things simple. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna take on Route 21 in the next episode as well, as do a little bit of backtracking to, uh, use Waterfall properly this time to get some TMs, which I think will be really helpful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Wedlock. See you next time, frozen coffee tables. Cool joke, right? <laughs>